Hello everyone and welcome to Chemistry with Kat. Yesterday I gave you guys an introduction to acid-base chemistry and there we learned that when an acid and base react they create a salt and water. In this video we're going to learn how to find the molecular formula for that salt that's formed in an acid-base reaction. Let's go! The biggest thing to remember about salts that form from an acid and base reaction is that they must be neutral. I'm not going to be going into the depths of formal charge like I did in a previous lesson. If you want to learn that, I'll put the link here. But for acid-base reactions, there's actually a trick to finding this molecular formula without drawing out the Lewis structure and finding the formal charge. And to teach it, I'm just gonna jump right into an example. So let's say on your exam, you have this question and they ask you what salt will be formed. So we have sulfuric acid and calcium hydroxide as our base. The first thing to do is figure out what your acid and base is. It's usually pretty easy to do because whatever substance has the hydrogen is usually the acid and the OH molecule is the base. The way we're gonna find this salt formula is by first looking at the acid. We'll look at the hydrogen. If there was one hydrogen here, it would have a charge of plus one, but there's two hydrogen. So I know that the charge here is plus two. This molecule here is neutral, so I know that the SO4 is a minus two. Now I'm gonna go over to the base. I look at the OH. If this was one OH group, it would be minus one, but there's two, so I know that this is a charge of minus two. And because this is neutral, I know that calcium has a charge of plus two. We know that the OH and the hydrogens are gonna form water. So the salt is going to be the calcium and the SO4. So we'll write it out, Ca, SO4, and let's put the charges. We know that calcium is a plus two, and we know that SO4 is a minus two. So it's neutral and we're good and then we can put H2O. Now to balance this equation, I just have to put a two in front of the water and we're done. All right, now I'm going to show you guys an example that won't be so easy. So we have to find the molecular formula of the salt that will form from this acid-base reaction. So first thing we'll do is find the acid. We have one hydrogen, so we know that that's a plus one charge. So the chlorine must have a negative one charge because it's neutral. And then we have OH, there's two OHs, so we have a minus two, and calcium is plus two. Again, we know the hydrogen and the OHs will form water. So the salt is going to be chlorine and calcium. So we'll go Ca, Cl is our salt. Now, calcium has plus two as its charge, but chlorine only has minus one. So what we have to do is put a two here so that that becomes minus two. And then we have H2O. To balance this equation, I need a two over here to balance out the chlorine and then a two on the H2O. What we're actually doing here is assigning oxidation states. I'm going to go into this in detail when we cover redox reactions, but this is a cool little introduction to how oxidation states can make finding the products of a reaction so easy. If you enjoyed this little lesson, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share it with your friends or leave me a comment on what you wanna see next. I will see you here tomorrow at 9 a.m.